Are you looking for a property to buy or lease? Are you tired of buying fake property from unregistered agents? Then this is good news for you. My Property and I is a real estate management program. Comes your way every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. on Africa Independent Television, AIT. Contrary people, who now they hear me so? I say my property and I go thunder for your television every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. to give una all the story about property for our state and how to get better one. We go they bring una people with sabi property matter to teach us how to buy and sell property without mago mago. Join us this Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. on AIT Bini. My property and I. It's a fit the landlord. Good day, viewers. You welcome to another exciting episode of my property and I. I remain your host, oh Sareme John is my name. Property has been issues that bothers the hearts of many. This is why we bring to you the first free estate management program that gives you background knowledge on how to acquire genuine property, yet to acquire genuine property and possible ways to manage and develop those property of yours. Today on the show, we have a guest who is going to be doing justice to the issues that bothers your heart as regarding property. But before now, let's go on a short break. When we return, you'll be meeting with our guests. Are you looking for a property to buy or lease? Are you tired of buying fake property from unregistered agents? Then this is good news for you. My Property and I is a real estate management program. Comes your way every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. on Africa Independent Television, AIT. Contrary people, who now they hear me so? I say my property and I go thunder for your television every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. to give una all the story about property for our state and how to get better one. We go they bring una people with sabi property matter to teach us how to buy and sell property without mago mago. Join us this Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. on AIT Bini. My property and I. It's a fit the landlord. You welcome back to the program, my property and I. Our guest still on the show to do justice to the issues that bothers your heart as regard property. Sir, you're welcome to the program, sir. Good evening, viewers. The pleasure is mine. It's a great privilege having you on the program. Sir, please, can you introduce yourself to our viewers and also tell us more about what you do? All right. Um, my name is Ebuese Philip Yes, the state chairman of the Association of Real Estate and Property Managers, RM, Edo State Chapter. I am, uh, by the grace of God, a property manager, and I'm into the real estate business itself. Okay. So, what is uh, uh, the association all about? The Association of Real Estate and Property Managers is uh, a regulating body that regulates the activities of the real estate practitioners within a state. Whether you are a property developer, whether you are an engineer that works in the real estate sector, whether you are a builder, whether you are a property manager, etc., etc., uh, the Association of Real Estate and Property Managers is a regulating body. It is the association that gives you the authority to um, practice what kind of business you are doing as a real estate uh, uh, practitioner. So the association also exists to eliminate fraud from the practice of uh, real estate in, in Edo State. Before now, you hear that, uh, uh, especially the, those that uh, are property managers or those that are estate agents, you hear that though know, they are uh, first stars, if you give them money, you will not see them, story here and there. Um, the association exists to eliminate that, that fraudulent system, that uh, to bridge the gap between the client and the person that is, uh, uh, you know, practicing, uh, who, who is into the practice of uh, uh, the profession. The action also exists uh, to foster unity among 
uh, those that practice uh, the business himself. Um, you know, uh, before now, you some of us you will know that uh, there are period when you see people fighting for commission and all that. Um, now there is a regulating body that would not, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, 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 like to hear that people fight physically or otherwise concerning commission. Um, the association also is there to protect its members, especially when you uh, you are doing your business diligently and somebody has done business with you and is not willing to pay your commission or what we call agency fee if you are a property manager uh, the association also is there to also ensure that uh, uh, we, we take such uh, matters uh, uh, up and um, your commission or whatever is due you is given to you Okay, thank you for that. What, what, what are you guys doing as regarding uh, uh, in terms of land grabbing and all that? Are, are you guys working with the state government in terms of those those some persons who do, do actually sell land for for one person and sell it to other persons? Like some agents who also want to associate themselves with those kind of acts. What, what are you guys doing to regulate that? Act? Yes. Uh, I think I have to thank the state government for ensuring that uh, those uh, laws were uh, uh, passed to also assist us um, to ensure that uh, uh, we we are not victims to land grabbing. Um, I also want government to also, you know, um, work with this association to ensure that we are try to eliminate things like that from the system, you understand? Um, the, 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 we, we cannot do everything. We are trying to regulate. As far as we are concerned, we have also spoken to our members that they should ensure that um, they don't uh, you know, uh, participate in land grabbing. They don't encourage land grabbing. They don't involve in land grabbing and we have penalties for members who uh, either assist or are part of these uh, nefarious uh, activities. We don't encourage it and we don't uh, like it. Uh, on the other hand, as I said, we want the government to also ensure that um, they work with the association because um, uh, if you look at it uh, clearly, you find out that there is no transaction in terms of buying or selling that a property manager or a real estate practitioner is not involved. So if we are going to ensure that uh, we fight and eliminate this thing totally, government should also be part and parcel of this uh, uh, association. They should encourage us, they should work with the executive to ensure that Things like this uh, are not encouraged. Thank you for that. What, 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 in terms of the the population of the association, in terms of membership, uh, uh, how, how how many mem members do we say we have? Uh, do we have some members in uh, the north, uh, the south, uh, another part of uh, uh, those centres, and all that? You talk about members membership uh, strength. Um, I cannot give you the accurate figure now because um, uh, as I'm talking to you now. We have members who are still coming on board, uh, but I can tell you that the numbers uh, is very, very encouraging. Uh, we have a good uh, a number of people who come in, whether from different parts of uh, those states, who are uh, practicing this uh, business and they also want to be part of this association because they believe that this association is doing a lot to assist um, uh, uh, clients, both clients and uh, those that are practicing the business. If you look at the association itself, by its name, we, we are not just limited to property manager or estate agent. If you look at the word, association of real estate and property managers, you are talking about everybody that does the real estate uh, business. You know, um, uh, like I said before, whether you are an engineer, you are a builder, you are a lawyer that 
practice real estate the this umbrella is for everybody it covers everybody it is not just restricted to those that uh, uh, practice uh, uh, real estate in terms of estate managers or estate agents it is an umbrella for all people that practice real estate for example um, you know that uh, uh, the lawyers they have their professional body but when any of them wants to practice real estate they also come under this umbrella because they believe that this umbrella is a, 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 an umbrella that regulates the activities of those that practice uh, real estate if you have a, a, a what do you call it the engineers those are build and all that or estate developers they have their own professional body but they come under this umbrella because they believe that this umbrella covers everybody it's for everybody it's not restricted to one particular profession but estate managers or estate agents are also part and parcel of this uh, body thank you for that i, I think uh, that, that was a nice one but in terms of uh, the 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 membership what, what does it take to be be a member of this association what for you to be a member of the association of real estate and property managers first and foremost you must be practicing you must do the business himself because members uh, membership is not just for those who do not practice the real estate or who do not practice uh, estate uh, real estate uh, business at all it's strictly for those that practice the real estate uh, business you must be practicing you must be uh, uh, somebody that is calm that has no dubious character that has not been found wanting then if you have all this character then you must have registered your biz your name with the CAC, your business name with CAC. If you have registered your business name with CAC, then you cannot come forward to the association and uh, you will uh, meet all the criteria that will be given to you by, um, by those that are in charge. They will tell you what to do and at the end of the day, when you meet all these criteria, you will be registered and inducted as a member of the Association of Real Estate and Property Managers. And again, um, I've had some other people saying that once you have CAC, you are good to go. I disagree with that. Everybody, including myself, I have CAC. And I know that CAC only registered your name. It's only empowered to register your name. That so so and so name, uh, yes, government is aware of it. You can use it uh, for business purposes. It does not give you license to go and operate uh, uh, the kind of business you want to do. For example, um, if you're a lawyer, uh, it is good that if you want to open your uh, chambers, you have your CAC. Uh, and when you have your CAC, you go to the regulating body, which is the MBA, to have a license to practice or certificate to practice as they do. If you are a pharmacist, you go to CAC, you have uh, your business registered with government, you also go to the Pharmaceutical Association of Nigeria to get uh, your license to practice. If you are an engineer, same, you register your name with the CAC, you go to National Society of Engineers to also get your license to practice. Then, if you are into real estate or you are a property manager, you also have to have your CAC and then you now proceed to the Association of Real Estate and Property Managers to get your license to practice uh, uh, what you are doing. Thank you for that. Well, you know, every, every association or uh, every uh, aspect, whether businesses or anything, has their challenges. I know this association will have one or two of its challenges. Well, what, what do you think is your challenges or what, what challenges do you have in, in this association? The biggest challenge uh, we are having is um, those that are not registered with us, those that are not our members. They, they will tend to tell you that uh, uh, we are all the same. You cannot be the same with somebody that is uh, registered, that has his business uh, regulated. So you, you, they, they tell you that uh, they, they, have, they are registered, they are members, and they commit all sorts of uh, nefarious activities they, in terms of 
going away to some, uh, so many uh, people's phones. And you know that uh, money is hard to get these days. But I also want to tell the viewers that if you do with quackery and you are duped, then you should know that you are an architect of your own problem. Because we have told people and we are still saying it that before you do business with anybody, ensure that the person is licensed. Ensure that the person is registered. You have the right to find out if the person is a member of this association. You have the right to also find out if the person is uh, licensed to do the business he's doing. Uh, don't just believe that God the person has a business name in terms of CAC, then you can deal with that uh, person. We have had incidents of where people come to us to say that, oh, uh, I, 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 I came to this man, I told them I wanted to buy land, I came to this man, I told them I wanted to build a, build, develop this property, I came to this man, I told them I wanted to rent the property or lease the property, and I was duped. And by the time we check our record, we find out that these people are not members of the association and there's nothing we can really do about it than rather to, than to advise them to go to uh, maybe uh, the law enforcement agent if they can get help um, i think that is one of the major problems we are having when you have uh, those who are not uh, uh, registered who are not uh, uh, licensed to do this business and they just because of the economic uh, situation in the country, they just go into it, and at the end of the day, they stand anywhere, they write their signboard anywhere, and a lot of people are dealing with them in that regard. I, I think in terms of uh, uh, property issues, in uh, property issues, I think the law enforcement agency does, does not basically do this on, on, on property issues. I know they are part of, of, of persons that can regulate the activities of persons. But in terms of property, I think an association ought to be there who ought to monitor the affairs of property issues in every economy or in every aspect of, of, of life. I, I think that. But in terms of property issues, the law enforcement agency, I, 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 don't, I don't think they, they, they do more with property than with humans themselves. Uh, what, what do you have to say on that? Yeah, in terms of property, uh, we, from this end, from the association end, we are trying to close the gap, form a synergy between the association and the law enforcement agents. Um, we are trying to foster that unity so that we can, in quote, regulate the activities of these uh, uh, non-registered members. And even members that are uh, found wanting. So um, I also want to, you know, blame government in this aspect because um, if you look at it, the real estate business is a very, you know, promising business that, if properly harnessed, if properly harnessed, the government will be able to create so much wealth, so much opportunity for others. But the, the government has left it unchecked. Um, uh, everybody, the canary, just wake up and before you know, it's into real estate. It's, it's not supposed to go to advanced society, it's not supposed to be so. Uh, it's supposed to be regulated. Uh, and uh, government ought to really you know, step in and work with us so that we can both regulate these activities. Because it's, it, I believe that if government truly want to uh, create jobs, this is a this, this is a platter of uh, gold opportunity, golden opportunity for them to do that. Uh, I cannot mention how many jobs um, uh, this real estate uh, sector has uh, uh, you know, been able to create for the teaming uh, Nigerians youth. So I feel that the uh, government ought to do, you know, be up and doing so that uh, they can, as a matter of fact, uh, form that synergy with the association to regulate and uh, remove quackery from the business. I would, I, would, I would like you to give your, your advice to the general public in terms of property issues in Edo State. Property issues in Edo State, if you... 
I think that is, a, if you look at the industry today, the industry is, is, is developing rapidly. If you go to anywhere, you see that everywhere is being opened up. Buildings, property coming up here and there. And uh, it is um, good for that. Getting a genuine property, you have to, you don't have to listen to the radio or, it, because we, we have said it, I was trying to, Tell uh, one of my friends who works in the, the one of these television stations that these people that go on air to tell you that they are land developers or property developers, and they come out to tell you that oh they are buying so so so, so and so estate. There, there, will, there is going to be light 24 hours light. There's going to be security there. There's going to be they are going to tower the roads. They are going to do this. They are going to do that. And people just, because of all these things, they go and buy property for their, for, from them. And at the end of the day, those things are not provided for. Those things are not there. Uh, it's, for me, it's fraud. It's fraud. It's fraud. Because if you know that you cannot provide all this, why will you use them to form things that we attract these people to come and uh, you know, buy this property from you? And at the end of the day, you, 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 you just have come with the money. And a lot of people, I'm telling you, in years to come now, a lot of people will be agitating for the return of such uh, funds. Uh, I am calling on the, you know, uh, the security agency to also quickly look at these things because you cannot have people coming on uh, radio and television telling you that they have they are land developers, they have property, they are, they are going to put our roads, they are going to do this, they are going to do that. People will buy these properties, those roads will not be tagged, those uh, business and meetings will not be provided, and people will just be spending of their money, and the people will go with the money and all that, uh, and nothing will be done. Uh, these people that are always coming on air to tell you that they have genuine property to sell, they have this to sell, they have that to sell, you should also ask them, you that want to tar my road, most of them cannot even fire their cars. I'm sorry to use that word. You that want to give me 24 hours a light, you can don't you can never buy fuel to power your gen. You want to give me 24 hours light. I feel that people should see these things. Before you buy land from people like that, you should see them. You should see those things being put in place before you invest your money. You don't just go there and invest your money and be waiting for them to say they want to start this. I'm not saying that that. All of them are bad, but they are genuine ones, those that are registered with us, those we can vouch for, but those that are not registered with us, a lot of them who are not registered with us, if you invest with them, then they, you, you have to also hold them responsible when these things are not uh, being provided for. Um, getting a genuine property, you also need to look at the person who is either the property manager or the estate agent or the land developer, you have to also look at him physically. You have to ensure that he has the required uh, uh, certificates to practice what he's doing. And if he has, then you cannot proceed to the next uh, step, which is you go to these places and see them. And not just see them, you also do your own independent investigation. If you are at liberty to pay some people, see, the reason why people fall for all these uh, moves, or what for all these moves, that they are in a hurry to do all these things. You have the right to also do your independent investigation. If somebody show you a property, you have to also go to... Thank you for having me on to this program. Thank you, sir. Are you looking for a property to buy or lease? Are you tired of buying fake property from unregistered agents? Then this is good news for you. My Property and I is a real estate management program. Comes your way every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. on Africa Independent Television, AIT. Contrary people, who now they hear me so? I say my property and I go thunder for your television every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. to give una all the story about property for our state and how to get better one. We go de bring una people with sabi property matter to teach us how to buy and sell property without mago mago. Join us this Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. on AIT Bini. My property and I. He said, feed the landlord. <laughs>